It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Thank you all for your patience um, as we've been on this journey. I hope it's been interesting and enlightening a little bit um, as I've been transitioning from my traveler's notebook system to this ring binder. Um, you, If you haven't seen the last few videos, I did a haul video, I did a migration video, a setup video. Um, so you can see where I got everything and a lot of my thought process behind it. This video is the finished project or the finished product of this project. Um, and basically my May setup. Um, I don't foresee things changing too much in between like June, July um, until you see this, but whatever does change, uh, I will definitely be doing a video about like how I actually use this once the baby came, um, like later. But uh, for now, obviously I am still enjoying my maternity leave. So here's the notebook. Uh, it's gotten a little bit of some scratches and scuffs. It still smells amazing. It's so soft and I love that it stays closed. Like I, I don't keep this shut, um, wrapped around a lot. I just kind of tuck it in. I've considered even just not, you know, like taking it off and carrying it around without, but, um, cause it kind of, it does this thing and then I have to like pull it back. Also, it kind of, it doesn't get in the way, but it's not flat. Anyway, uh, it, it stays closed on its own. Just great. Like you can see. Um, so I don't worry about this a lot. Um, even when it's in my bag, I just kind of tuck it in there. Uh, this little guy came, I think with the sticker order, you'll have seen that in the haul video. I'm just keeping it in there. Cause why not? You know, there's nothing else in my pockets. Um, and why not? It's just a little print out of a rose. So here is the set up. Very first, we have this piece of acetate with the little gold dots on it that I think it is rubbing off a little bit, but whatever, um, to protect everything. We have this um, categorized shopping list. So if I think of something I need to pick up at like Target, I'll jot it down. I actually filled this section because I haven't been in a while. Um, next time at Michael's, next time I'm like looking for stuff on Amazon or whatever, uh, I put it here and then I, I flip back here whenever I need to. And then this currently is a shopping list for a grocery store run that I need to make sometime, not super urgently. So I'm also jotting stuff down just for grocery list here. And then I can take this out of the notebook and carry it in with me. Um, and then just throw it away. Then uh, the first divider doesn't have a tab, but this section is for like, what am I supposed to do today section? That's what we'll call it. Um, the first page is my next actions list. So that's part of the whole GTD system. Um, and it's something that I have been like, I, I never used when I was in the traveler's notebook, but since I moved into the ring binder, having the ability to just replace a page without having to like, have dead weight in my journal and wasting paper and all that. It just, it feels a lot more freeing and it's been really good. Um, so yeah, I have a couple, like a couple projects that are crossed off, but basically these are by project stuff I need to read. Um, and like I crossed them out as they need to get done. So there's a couple things here, some miscellaneous things, some things for the baby. And then I have a blank one, uh, ready to go when I have another project to add on. And then this is for a book we're reading, reading one little reading a day. And uh, that goes through this, just like three more days. Um, so I've just been checking off. I was also keeping track because we had to get caught up. So everywhere it's, where it says AP, AP, that's when I was doing two a day to catch up. Um, and then this is my bra tracker. Same idea as before. Um, oh, I, I didn't mention, I haven't been mentioning all of these, um, inserts are mostly from Peanuts Planner Co. I will link below, um, what the version is, like what the actual, um, like the name of the file. Um, this one is the, uh, books to read or something like that. I don't remember what they called it. It was a weird title that I got rid of. Um, this one's a freebie and this one is from the 2018 bundle. Um, and so basically the idea of this front section is like from most relevant to least relevant, like the things that I need to do, the, the, the pages that I need to look at every single day, 
um, are in the front. And then as we get towards the back of the section, it's like maybe once a week, every other week, something like that. Um, and like if, when I'm looking to populate my to-do list for the day, I go to this front section. So, you know, current things that I can do in projects to work towards those projects. Great. Um, this is something that's every day. So I wanted to keep it, you know, visible. Same with this one. And then we have my waiting on list to keep these things in the front of my mind so that I know, um, I kind of have some of those answers <laughs> so that I know what is on deck, what I need to be like looking out for, maybe reminding people about. This is a, uh, I did something similar in previous setups, but basically different projects and these are all just the different weeks. Um, and I just put a dot on the week that I'm supposed to be working on that project. So I'm like, oh yeah, that's coming up. I should really work on that this week, this week. And then when I get there, I'm like, okay, check, 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 check. Um, and there's a little bit more on this side. And then this is my, the same thing for my Hogwarts. Um, basically every year on the site is 10 weeks. And so I have all of those along here, color coded for my different jobs, teaching, head of house, all that. And then as I go through, like this week is currently the first week of summer. So the first S here, I, I've already checked off everything that I need to do for that week. So that's great. These are my recurring tasks. So periodically I go through and see, okay, what here is coming up um, versus next. And then when that date passes and I do the thing, like I'm recording this this day, actually, I'm going to change my razor before I take a shower tonight. Um, I will erase it. I'll put the next date in the last and then I'll schedule on the calendar the next time to change my razor and put that date here. And that's how that works. Then we've got sort of lists of projects. Um, instead of having these in with the project pages, they're here so that I remember about them. These are just general whatever stuff, stuff around the house, stuff um, that I'm creating, making craft stuff, stuff on MH. And then my someday maybe list is right back here. So whenever I, you know, I'm flipping through this whole section, I'll see it here. I remember it's there and I go, huh, every so often I go, nah, pretty much. This next divider houses my YouTube section. I wanted to have a separate YouTube section, even though this could all kind of go in projects. I wanted to have a separate dedicated section. So this um, is actually a sticker, but I haven't stuck it to anything because I don't want to waste it. I'm thinking I'm going to get a piece of like blank acetate and stick it on there so that I can reuse it whenever. Um, but this sticker is uh, from, oh gosh, I don't remember the name of the artist. But this little character is named Momo Cheat, and she's adorable, and I got this at Comic-Con. It says, remember to save, because that's important. Um, so this is like a project page where I'm currently working to film all of these videos between the beginning of May and the end of my maternity leave. This is where I am so far as I'm recording this. Um, hopefully as you're seeing this, it's all done. Um, but I'm just kind of keeping track of everything. Here, I also have this in a spreadsheet but I wanted to have a physical place too. And then this goals and rewards is another um, Peanuts Planner Co. insert, link below, or at least the name of it below. Um, and I think it's really cool because it's got little boxes to fill in. I'm a fan of boxes to fill in. It has um, an achievement column. You can set like what you want to achieve by when, and then a reward to reward yourself with. And then when you get to your actual goal you put the date there and then you get your reward and check it off and I think that's super cool so I'm using this for a few different projects this is for this project of getting all the videos done so I have 45 videos to make and I've done 10 so far so that's pretty good this is my YouTube schedule for most of that time basically the same thing but with dates there's a lot of redundancy but it helps it helps me this is how my brain works I think I showed you, this is like one of the first things I did in my setup video. Um, these are the steps for creating a video. This is a list of ideas for future videos. So leave those below if you have any good ones. Some notes I'm taking while filming ISBEs. And then um, these are all like project pages for videos um, that I'm making. So like I take notes and then I check a box and then I film it, I check a box. And then um, when I don't need it anymore, I can take it off. Like I think this one here. I'm done with this page and this page, so I can just take this out and archive it. And then I don't have to have it weighing my planner down or taking up extra space, you know? So that's all of those. 
this next section is my future log. This is a bullet journal-y thing, future log. Um, I love this monthly plan, this monthly insert. It's just so cool. Um, you see it's got like this tiny little, you know, calendar grid on the one side, just big enough for some color coding and a couple little letters and symbols. Then you've got room for dates and tasks. I have some dates down here too because May is a crazy busy month for us. But I've like marked here all the yellow dots are childbirth classes we're taking. I have my weeks of pregnancy here, weeks of MH here, C for confirmation, B for Bible study, blue is for holidays, green is for family and friend events, and red is for stuff uh, at the Pro Sanctity Center. And yeah, so I have like, there's a little room for notes here. So I've been using this a lot and I think it's pretty cool. Um, and so I have it all printed out for the end of the year. For every month, I've just put all of my future log stuff in here. It gets a little bit sparser as we go, of course. And then after December, I have this, which is completely blank. This uh, also came, no, I was going to say this came from the, the monthly, sorry, the 2018 bundle, but it did not. It came... I believe as part of the freebie grid monthly uh, from the Facebook group from Penis Planner Co. And it's like the, the front or back cover of it is like this and you basically just have a month and room. So this is my 2019 future log. Um, and if it starts getting full, I can print out months and start my 2019 one when I need to because it's a ring binder. This is the planning section. So after all of that lovely monthly that I love, then there's this one that I was like, oh, I gotta have a monthly that, I don't know, has more room in the boxes. I like that these are grid, I really do. This one's the one you actually pay for. Um, I'll mention below what the number actually is, but I find it, I don't like flipping to this one as much because there's actually more information here. Because I have like the notes on what I need to bring to classes, you know, what time things are. Here's just kind of a, it's a bird's eye view, but so is this. So it has pretty washi tape and stuff on it, but I don't think that I'm going to make another of these grid uh, monthlies for the future months. I don't really need them. So I'll just use the future log as my monthly as I had been doing in my traveler system. Then these are dailies. Um, this daily is a freebie on the Facebook group for Penis Planico, and I think it's pretty cool. I like that it has the hourly as well as like task space. Um, it's got, it's just, it's so compact and so useful, it's awesome. This weekly is, I will mention what it is below, um, it's really cool too. I like that it has a tracker. Um, I like that, I think five things is a good number of things for me to track and it keeps me like thinking about what's on there um, and getting rid of stuff that doesn't need to be on there. Um, I, I'm sure that some people could use just this for a whole week and just like, oh yeah, here's the few things I need to get done every week and this is where I put events. No, that's not me. I have my dailies every day, my page per day. Um, but this, I use these day thingies for thingies, boxes, I don't know, uh, for just meal, meal planning. So just write the meal we're going to have and that's it. And then tasks need to get done sometime during the week and then I um, just try to check back in here every day. I don't always. Um, I'm not always great at that. Let me see. This was last week, so it's fine. And then, yeah, I just have daily, daily, daily. I've been having a little bit of fun with some washi tape to decorate it. Um, this is for my work schedule, you know, instead of writing the word work every day. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I, um, this is supposed to be like a water tracker. And I was like, what do you use that for? I don't like tracking water because I'm a big believer that that's just silly. Um, if you, you know, just drink when you're thirsty, you shouldn't have to track it unless your doctor's telling you to. Anyway, what am I supposed to do it for? Well, uh, I use it for tracking, <laughs> for reminding myself to do kegels, to practice kegels. And every time I open my planner, I see these dots and I go, Ooh, I should do some and then I fill in a, a dot and I do some and then um, that's great. I'm also counting kicks and I'm using it this week to remind myself to clean the house a little bit. Um, and yeah, I've been really loving these dailies.
Oh, and this, yeah, this Today page marker came with the dividers, uh, which you saw in the haul. So I have dailies and weeklies printed out through the end, or like the very beginning of the beginning of June right now, and I will print out more as I need them. Um, I'm planning to print out enough for like, you know, the two months or something before the baby comes and just have like July, August in here. And uh, give myself full permission to not use them very much if I don't think I need them. Um, but they're there if I do. This next section is project pages. <laughs> I had to check. So I said my project lists are up here in the front. My project pages are back here. Um, so it's, yeah, stuff that I just, I reference it when I need to work on the project. So here's notes for the journalism scholarship at WizU. Sewing projects, you can see I have not been very good at those. I'm kind of putting it off until maternity leave, but that's all the stuff I want to sew before the baby comes. Knitting project I have been doing much better on, even though there was a setback, which you saw a, a video on Mother's Day. That's what that was. Um, here's the reading I need to do. I read the thing I needed to read like then, but the other things I'm behind on. Um, I want to read some birthing books because it's scary. Anyway, this is uh, sort of in here for reference. Later it will get moved up to the front section, but this is a list of things that I need to do after the baby comes that I can't do beforehand. I would love to do things beforehand as a planner person, and I know you all probably feel this pain. I can't order my breast pump until after the baby comes. Like, how messed up is that? Um, so I have it here to remind me to do it, at least putting it in my planner is the next best thing. And then this just makes me happy to dream about the things I want to eat and drink after the baby comes <laughs> that I can't now. And then this is, um, I mentioned this in the preparing for the craziness video that came out at the end of June. Um, this thing is a, uh, this page is a list of things that other people can help out with around the house. Um, this page will get moved up to the very front right here um, when the baby comes or right before so that anybody who wants to be helpful around the house when they're visiting, I can just say, just open the planner, first page, pick something to do. And I can uh, probably have some things that are actually able to be crossed off. A lot of these are reoccurring. And then this section is for reference. So I have this savings tracker that tracks like how much it's just in my personal um, fun budget, where I am with that. And then on the back is my wish list for things to spend the fun budget on, gift ideas. Um, and then the same debt and savings trackers that I had. And then the same recipe list that I had of things that have worked that I can look at if I'm feeling like I don't know what I want to cook. And then this oven temps, I showed this in my setup too. Um, I have not used it yet. It, as soon as I filled it out, like we stopped baking stuff because we got busy and it, the weather started getting hot. So, um, you know, I, I'll use it as it comes up and it's not hurting anybody anyway. It's on the back of another insert. This is the, whiz, uh, the um, my Hogwarts calendar. And then this is my, for reference stuff for um, WizU. On my Hogwarts and then this is a list this will probably go this might get moved up to the front or might just stay here this is just a list of things um, that I'm planning to have a lot of time like right now I don't have time to watch stuff or listen to stuff um, but I'm making a list of things that when I think oh yeah I should watch that or whatever I watch it I put it here and then I'll watch these things when I am bored or whatever during maternity leave and then the final section is general notes and extra pages. So here are these uh, fun planet sticky notes. Um, and then this is like my brain dump slash add to planner. I don't know. I thought these were pretty. So I'm like, I'm going to make my brain dump on this pretty floral page. Um, but I think when I'm done with this pretty floral page, I'm just going to use one of these regular list ones that has room to like cross it out. Um, then I have more spare pages. I've got more of these floral guys because they are fun. I like them for grocery lists. This is my general workhorse all-purpose grid paper. This is a freebie on Peanuts Planico as well. The list thing. Yeah, more lists for lists. More mini lists for those things that I'm doing mini lists for, like in the front. 
a spare goal one if I come up with anything goal worthy. And then the little stickers I got. You can see I've used two of them. Bonus points if you noticed. Oh, and then this is a, a project page that I finished and then just tucked it in the back ready for archiving later so that can come out. And then that's everything. Oh, except for the secretary pocket, which I've used like for a receipt once. No, I used it for a check once. Um, I don't really use my pockets <laughs> very much. But this um, pen loop, I thought would be great having a pen loop, but it is too small. <laughs> like, uh, um, okay, look, technically I can get it in, but not in a way that I find convenient. And then when I don't have anything in there, I go to close it and it, I end up like getting it stuck between different pages and it was just annoying me. So somebody, no, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I should keep track of this. Somebody on YouTube, I watched a video and they were saying that they used uh, bobby pins and they were like decorative ones for decorative purposes or like as a bookmark. Um, but I just had one lying around. I grabbed it and I just tuck it in here and then behind here and then it stays um, and it lies flat and it's just not a problem anymore. I just can close it and it's okay. So that is everything. I hope it lived up to your expectations. I'm really liking the setup. Um, just, I, I thought it would like basically the freedom of being able to move pages around, add pages, remove pages, just kind of make mistakes and not have it impact anything for long term is just so great. I love that I can take out project pages when I'm done with the projects and only carry around what I need. Um, and I wasn't sure also if the, the pocket size would be too small, if the rings would be a problem. So, I mean, I do take out pages to work on them sometimes, but not always. Um, I find that I can, you know, I can work on the left side okay if I'm being careful. And I just, yeah, I really like this. And I, I see myself using rings for the foreseeable future for now because it is working really well for me. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you. I know it was a little bit long, but I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, I don't know if I've been appropriately hyping this or not, but that's what I am doing for May through like August, September. And I will check in with you when I start making videos again um, and let you know how it's going. I, uh, I have very high hopes for this project or for this, this whole system. It's working really well. Uh, yes, so I will see you guys in the next video, either on Sunday or Tuesday. Bye!